Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing for you. This is from TACCOM Knives. So, I don't know if they have a new uh, OTF out, but uh, I'm always interested in what's going on over at TACCOM. So, let's see. And of course, I will be passing this around. See what it says. Thank you for taking the time to read this and review this knife. I wanted to design a knife that's high utility. I understand that high utility can have different meanings for different people. Uh, for me, it's meant a knife that didn't look overly tactical and is hard to grip or use. Instead, I wanted an OTF that was comfortable to use and practical for traditional everyday carry. I didn't like how many OTF knives on the market have a slim or very geometric shape to emphasize the tactical part of OTFs. I wanted to emphasize the high utility of operating the knife with one hand while the other hand is occupied. The options of drop point or sheep's foot with the bulldog, so this is the bulldog, work well with the general use of the knife. Those two blade shapes are great for all purposes and are easy to maintain. Stonewashed M390 will hold up well in all conditions. The Bulldog's OEM is Best Tech. If you're not familiar with us, all our knives are made with Best Tech. Sincerely, Shane, tatcom.com. You guys know I will list... I will link TACCOM down below. I do not have an affiliate link. They just send me stuff, check out, and I appreciate it. And then I pass it around. I just got back one of their other ones, the Chimera. Uh, this is the Bulldog. Okay, so this is, uh, this is a little bit of a taller OTF. Oh, this is nice, dude. This is nice, dude. I think I saw this one. You know me, I'd probably prefer the sheep's foot, but I gotta say, the aesthetic here looks sick with the drop point. Um, you know, it almost felt like when we were reading that, it almost felt like he was just trying to explain why the knife was ugly. <laughs> but it's not. It's not ugly at all. This is a good-looking knife. I like the curve of the handle. Um, fits the hand really, really well. Fires out really well. Great action. As we all know, Best Tech can make really good OTFs. They just did the uh, EMP Pulse. Um, this is the same materials, right? Aluminum and um, M390. Or maybe that one was Magna Cut. Uh, but this does not have a milled clip. I wonder what the price point is on this one, but very nice. The tip is right there, but doesn't grab you. I love the switch. I love the fuller in the blade. I'd much prefer a fuller over, um, you know, like a cutout. A lot of companies do a cutout now. Not my favorite. Um, just because it, you can't flick it. You know what I mean? Can't flick that. All right, I'm on their website. Let's just see if I can find it. Nope. Nope. Stubby, Barracuda. There's the Grunt. It is very similar to the Grunt. That might be why I feel like I've seen it before. But that has the seatbelt cutter. This does not. There it is. $229. So $230. And you're getting M390 in uh, aluminum. You get a nice clip. I mean, it is sort of a budgety clip. But I got to tell you, it's going to work. And it flips over. All good things. Uh, yeah, drop point. 230 Sheep's foot, 230. Um, 3.07 blade length, 4.71 handle length, 7.81 overall, 0.12 blade thickness, 59 to 60 HRC on the M390. Uh, 4.3 ounces, and the blade is stone washed, and the handle is hard anodized. 6061 T6 aluminum, stainless steel, um, Hardware, I would assume, all around. Clip is stainless steel. And the button is aluminum. So, yeah, I think that's a good price. Uh, 230 I mean, yeah, it's made in China, but it's really well made. It's nice and sharp, too. Um, I wish I had something to cut so I could prove that stuff when you guys... Oh, here. Oh, I feel bad because this is a note somebody sent me, but that's all right. Yeah. Nice and sharp. 
just going back to the last video, if you're uh, interested, here's that lefty Kirby Rain. Yeah, it's really sharp too from Caviso. Check that video out. But um, yeah, nice and sharp, does the job. I think this is basically um, what I would want instead of that grunt with the uh, with the seatbelt cutter, right? You get rid of that, and you basically end up with the bulldog. And I think this is a very uh, comfortable OTF. You could use this all day. That's I think what the point was. He wanted this to be a work knife, a utility knife, versus a self defense weapon right uh, a lot of people buy otfs for that purpose you know so you get the double edge or whatever and they're slim and and all that stuff um, but they're not very useful day to day um where this will actually have a useful blade shape grind um you know it's a taller blade more ergonomic in the hand and i think that does make sense overall more sense overall you have this cool little lanyard pass through here so you can hook up your lanyard if you want. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely digging the Bulldog. So let me know what you guys think on this one. I'll be passing this around. So you'll be getting uh, other people's thoughts on this as well. But um, yeah, check it out on their website. Link down below, 230 bucks. Thank you to Tacom Knives. As always, appreciate you guys. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, I love you. I'll catch you later. Peace.